This video is part of a collaboration with a group of gorgeous and talented girls here on YouTube. We've worked together to bring Disney heroines to life. There are links to all the other looks and a link to the digital art series that inspired this collaboration in the description box. Snow White has beautiful pale skin, so to start with I'm going to apply Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation in the shade Bone. This foundation has lovely heavy coverage so it will help to achieve Snow White's flawless complexion. Cover up any dark circles or blemishes with a concealer and then dust over with a powder to set everything in place. I filled in my eyebrows with a black eyeshadow and I went a little above my actual eyebrow to make them look more arched rather than flat and angled. For the eyes I wanted to go for the cute innocent doe eyed look so I first applied a white eyeshadow all over the lid and a little underneath the eyebrow to act as a highlight. Then taking a shimmery eyeshadow I just went back over the lid. Taking a light warm brown, apply it through the crease and if you have quite a big gap between your eyebrow and your eyelid like me, you can blend it up towards the eyebrow as well. I wanted more of a contrast between the light colour of the lid and the crease, so I took a darker brown through the crease line on a smaller brush, almost as though I was creating a fake crease line. Next apply some eyeliner and wing it out at the edge. I'm using a liquid liner but for a softer look you could use an eyeshadow and just apply it with an angled brush. I chose to apply these eyelashes because even though they're quite long, they still somehow manage to look nice and natural. I like how wispy they are at the edges. While the top lashes are drying, I'm just going to move on and apply some white eyeliner to the waterline and also take a light brown eyeshadow underneath the eye. These two steps are going to complement each other. The light brown underneath the eye is just going to work with the white and make the eyes appear bigger. Then just apply mascara to the top and bottom lashes. I applied way too much to the bottom lashes and they clumped together. If that happens, you can always just take a dry mascara wand and just brush through them a few times. Now for contouring. I imagine Snow White would have a teeny tiny nose, so I contoured down the sides of my nose. I applied a little underneath my bottom lip as well to make them look fuller. Then I took the powder up onto the forehead and then I went underneath my jawbone as well. I avoided applying any underneath the cheekbone because we're going to go crazy with the blusher later on and I didn't want to mix the colours. Next, of course Snow White needs her signature red lips, so I lined and filled my lips in with a red liner. I was going to apply MAC Red over the top as well, but I actually really liked this shade of red, so I decided to just leave it. Because the liner left quite a matte finish, it felt like my lips were going to dry out quite fast, so I dabbed over the top of them with a lip balm. Now you can go mental with the blusher. She has lovely big rosy cheeks. If you want this to be a wearable look, you might want to tone this step down a little bit. I added a highlight on my cheekbones, and then that's it for the makeup. For the hair, I use a curling tong mainly to add body and bounce rather than curl. On top, take a section of hair at the front, about the width of the curling tong, clamp the hair, and then ease the hair around the barrel by loosening the clip and rotating the curler. Then just clip it in place with the curling clip so it can cool off and set in that position. So on the top, you want three going backwards like this. The next row should face this way and then when you get closest to the bottom you don't need any lift at the root anymore so just pin the curls flat against your head. Spray with a hairspray and let your hair cool into its new position. Now I'm going to make my hair look shorter and this is where the curl at the end of the hair really comes in use. Take a section of hair and roll the hair up and then just pin it in the back of your hair with a bobby pin. It's really simple. If your hair is quite heavy or you have trouble keeping the bobby pins in place you can just set a bit of back combing at the root first so the bobby pins have something to stick to. If you have short hair you've got it easy, just curl it with a straightener and then comb through it. Add a cute little bow and then we're done. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely go and check out all the looks that the other girls have done. 
As always, you can check the description for products I've used and links to everything. And thank you for watching.